Hey, how's it going? We are going to figure this out. We are going to figure this out. I think what I should do is just chop the top off. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to cut this bit off. So that is the internal floor. And then what I'm going to do from here is just cut uh, the bits that are like the edges. Oh, why is... It's like it's different on... Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just going to cut out the bits that sort of I can lose, I guess. So I need to figure out how to organize this stuff in a way that can be walked around on. So anywhere that's green is part of that floor. I could potentially get rid of the motors and go direct drive off the flywheel. And that would probably free up enough space for you to walk beneath this. I just don't know how to properly manage the sudden load of torque. This pipe here can probably move. I was thinking, like, why doesn't this pipe go up and over? Like this. And then you kind of get space to walk down there. This is a real problem. I'm going to save this as uh, something else. Lifeboat skelly. Because I want to see if we're actually in the lifeboat. Can I move that pipe? Instead of coming out like that, can we go through here? And what is that? It's a wedge. So this wall has to exist. Oh, that was, that's the thing though. The wall above it exists. So yeah, this doesn't matter. If I got rid of this big generator, if we went to direct drive, we could lose that and then go down to a smaller, probably, actually, yeah, you, would, you could just use that one because the whole point of that big one is to directly feed the motors. And if I do that, then potentially the battery can come back. Uh, the fins would be a problem. Okay, but let's, let's put the battery forwards then and move the condenser back. I might leave a little gap through there. So the, the main weight of the battery isn't moving. The condenser does weigh a lot though. And then, you know, doing it this way is like this battery can go. Because the little battery will be enough. Since if we're doing direct drive, I can just redistribute the weight quite a lot. Get rid of these. Get rid of all these weight blocks and try and figure that out. These gearboxes are most likely going to go like up, I think. Yeah, and I'd be able to pull these pumps right back. They'd be on either side of the flywheel. So maybe I should just take the lifeboat and see if I can get it to work with just going direct drive. So get rid of... Yeah, I'll get rid of all this weight and I'll try and figure that out as I go. So it's going to be, this is a fuel line, which is spliced and goes down. What if I splice across through there and then uh, I'm already spinning max speed off the flywheel, which is probably where my problem comes from, to be honest. I need a clutch is what I need. I need a clutch. So that's my clutch. We take this clutch pressure and find that one by one that is engaging these clutches all the time. Flywheel clutches. Might as well chuck her on that. And then the lever, instead of going to, yeah, instead of going to the motors at the back, it goes to the clutch for engagement. And then this pipe, is actually the fuel line needs to just go up and around a little bit. It goes up into here. Oh, mm -hmm. It's kind of silly. I can get rid of this generator. That should be the final output, right? So I need to basically bring that pipe back to... It comes out of the flywheel and then it needs to go all the way back to the fluid jets, which is this pipe. I think probably the easiest way to deal with this right now 
I'm going to have to like flip this upside down or something. All right, because that comes down. We're going below. And then instead of this, I could use these pipes. These pipes don't actually take up any space. Fun fact. Doing this doesn't lose any space on the tank. And then if I just do that, my tank still gets access to fuel. Yeah, this is just temporary because I just want to make sure it actually works. And then this comes out, goes around. Doo, doo, doo. We'll just go up into the roof. So up and then from here we'll just come across. All right, so that should enable me. Uh, what was in there? A generator. So the generator, none of the electricity should have been messed up. Lifeboat V2. Make sure to turn off infinite, infinite electricity, infinite fuel. Now, about this, I was thinking about this. Putting that step in makes it too too short to get up there. So I would have to get rid of this back segment because that's also where the hatch kind of comes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is about the same speed as before. It's a little bit slower. Why is it not reacting all weird like it used to? The only difference I'm really seeing here is that when you first engage the clutch, the speed spikes up into like 42. And then once you're going, it slows back down. I wonder if there's a, a dead zone in the engagement as well. So if I stop. See, we're not going anywhere at point one. Two. Point three, we start going. That's really weird. Wait, are we even going? I guess we are. So I thought the old clutches were the only ones that didn't do anything below point three. Oh, I guess it's like it's going sort of, but it's extremely slow. Which means. Oh, look at that. We can go up to 60 knots. What is this? 50 knots. It's faster, but it's slowing down. I don't like that it's inconsistent or that there's... I don't like how it's got that room to suddenly go fast. At least it stops okay. But yeah, I don't like how we've got this inconsistent top speed. It's hard to know how fast it can really go. So what happens in a little bit of wind? 50%. Uh, as long as it doesn't dolphin dive in and out all the time, I think it's okay. See, maybe it's really the PID that's screwing me up with the diving in and out all the time. 40 knots, 30 knots. Okay, well, maybe let's do this then, because that frees up all of this below space, right? So if you did want to hop down, you can come down and around, so I can weld all of this equipment. And then from the other side, I think you probably just have to enter from the front. Unless I get rid of some of these pistons, do I want to go down to three pistons? Like, not really. I think it's good at the moment. It seems like it's handling okay as well. With reduced weight, weird load coming off the pistons instead of an electric motor. I might tune that roll down a little bit. I think 50 is good, but perhaps like 25, 30 would be okay. The pitch is good, 
pitch is very nice. Well, this will be interesting because even when it's underwater, <laughs> I gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> Because of the fluid jet, the uh, fluid ports on the top and bottom, it really doesn't care if it's underwater or not. Oh yes, but this, can it recover from this? I guess this is a bit extreme. Yeah, see that's a lot better than what it was doing before, we just like got stuck in a weird rhythm, at least it wants to try and level out and stay sort of at the waterline. And that's coming out of Tsunami as well, so it's not, it's not like a real normal situation. That means I've got all this space down here, and I guess because we lost the generator weight, we can lose the weights from the barrels that were in the back there. But I do kind of want to bring the condenser down into this spot and that will allow me to actually drop through the hatch and walk around it, walk around the battery, reposition some things. I reckon like these pumps that are down here, these pumps are cooling the condenser. They might as well be in here somewhere. Maybe along these spaces I could use pipes to like go up and over and yeah yeah so i think first thing i should probably do is get rid of stuff that doesn't have to be in any specific place and stuff that i can just like reapply or re pull back in so those two manifolds were for sucking up fluid yeah like this is a big weird space where nothing's really going to go in as far as i can tell so I could chuck that stuff up there, and I kind of want to hide the compass and GPS as well. Now, this is technically 3 by 2 so you could walk through here. I want to try and make it nice, you know. I can put stairs in somewhere. Do you think I should do that? Oh, I should use the other stair though. I'm going to try and fill in places where I can just fill them in you know i think this is good what is this so why oh because i can get up through this gap on this side but this side i won't be able to i wonder if i should just like fill that up and then put in a hatch in the wall where the forts I really want to put like a black stripe through the bottom of that though. Uh, that's not going to work anyway because it's going to open into the outside. I need to use a sliding hatch. And then I can just wall off that. I mean that's maybe not such a good idea. If I at least use wedges or something you can maybe go over it. This thing here with the hatch it's just annoying me that i can't have my black stripe it's just going to have to be like a, a hallway that you can access and i brought these stairs forward so that they don't interfere with the pistons but it does mean you've got this kind of weird wedge directly as you come down to the bottom of it and then up the top this is this pipe is for the hose up here but I don't know why it's not just in the deck, right? Yeah, why isn't it just here? I'm not putting anything in the deck. Now, these ones are actually, um, that's this thing, right? No, it's these two big ones. Let's get rid of this. I reckon this is in the way and can easily be moved right now. Get rid of that. I will maybe cut the pumps. But maybe there's space now behind here. As long as it's easy to get at, you know, as long as we can repair it. I don't really care where it is. 
The only weird thing about this one is like trying to share the pressure between them. Can I go below the stairs somewhere? Does that actually fit there? What the heck? See, the only thing that that's interfering with is the pipe. No way. Do I want that to be a bit glitchy? Maybe not. What is this? It'd be good if I could use parts of the wall, parts of the floor. What if instead of going forwards, it goes backwards? Also, there's no reason that those pumps have to be at the front of the boat. Especially if I'm going to use the deck, then they might as well be just somewhere useful, somewhere out of the way. Like in the very rear, they could be embedded in the floor. I really want to put them below the stairs, it just seems like a good place to put them. They just clip into something though, they're going to clip into the pistons or they're going to clip into the stairs or they're going to interact with the stairs in a way that they're not useful. I think they're going at the back, you know. It just seems like the easiest place to put them. There is no space back here though. Or no space, there's just no space for these 2x2 two two, um, pumps. Let's just get rid of them, because I don't think that electricity was connected to them anyway. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that battery. I forget what that relay's for, but I think it was for the... For the GPS. Okay, we're going to move the condenser. Maybe if I move the condenser, I'll figure out some space for those pumps to go in. What's that? Steam in. I think that's flipped. See, that gives you space to walk through there. I actually might move all of it forwards. Take the condenser and the battery. Shuffle it forwards. Means those fins need to probably all get shuffled forwards as well. Because the open gap has to be where the battery is. Might even be able to go forwards one more. But my idea here is that I can use either stairs or ramps to give myself a little thing like that. I think it's nice to visualize where you can walk with stairs. Maybe I'll shift it for forwards. Forwards. I'll move it forwards one more. Right up to where these blocks are. Once more with those. No, I want to put it back. <laughs> I want to put it back so that there's just kind of even spacing between the condenser and the flywheel. So then I need a pump, which uh, the pump is up here. So this is pumping from this one in the roof. And then it's going into, so it would be like that probably. It might be, I wonder how I can position these. I really want it to look nice. But I kind of can't make it look nice. See there's this thing here and I can't put anything in there. Annoying. If I, had, if I could stretch a block into that, that'd be really nice. If I did it like that, then I can go 90 degree pipe here. And then go straight up from this one into the roof. All this can go. That's actually a lot cleaner than all this over here. So what was this? Down on the thing and then this one will need to go the other way. Like, uh, ugh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm filling in the, the bottom section so that I can like place the pipe going directly out on a right angle and then it will go directly up so I think that's in the same place I think that was cooling pipes is that the same place? oh it is wait is that right then? that doesn't seem right it's like mirrored and that also means I can get rid of a lot of that stuff. Uh, I think I need something in here still. So maybe I can just curve that off. Curve it off, curve it off. And I wonder if I can even get 
past that on the front now. Take some wedges, smooth all that out. Mm, that might be a bit of a problem. How, 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 how? How can I get through here? If I move this pipe, so... Yeah, if I move this pipe. That should free up some space for coming along here, and I might be able to build this up. Well, it's floating, so that's good. It's a little tricky to get past the battery, so I might have to build this bit up to the level I'm on now. But that's, that's good. Walking through here is totally possible. Walking through here, you can weld the gearbox, weld the flywheel, weld the condenser, weld all the pipes. You could trace the pipes through the roof, but you could also weld the floor from the upper deck. You can come up through here. This will be... The problem area I can already tell I might be able to move these tanks and pumps and stuff so that you can kind of go through here yeah I think a lot of that can be put somewhere else Whew. no that's that's a lot better it's leaning for some reason it's leaning a lot why is it leaning I don't know why it's leaning like that Mm, stairs aren't too heavy, but there's equal amount of stairs on both sides. I'm going to get rid of that, and then... Put some wedges. Maybe, 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 maybe... Like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get rid of these, put those in. This relay can go up there. Ooh. Maybe I should put a, a spear battery in here. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So I can put a breaker somewhere up the front. I was thinking I would put it in the ground like that. Then take one of these batteries. Up that, cover that in. There you go. Oh yeah, I don't even need the big battery though. Am I going to keep it? Hmm. I could just... I could just do that. Oop. Oop. How's that? Oh, what's happened here? What is this? It's kind of weird getting past this stuff though. I also need pumps for cooling the condenser. I think I was only using the small ones for that. So maybe I can just like cut into here. Oh, that'd be perfect. Perfect. So one goes that way. One goes that way. Pipes, which go down. And then these, these ones here just are a solid. And they just go out to two fluid ports. Wait, uh, I did it wrong. Fluid ports should be up here. These need to go like that. They need to come down and then go backwards. Sort of do a little, little L. Seawater cooling. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Um, I don't have any battery now, which is not good. There is a very battery-sized looking hole back here, though. Um, can I, like... Yeah, see how these pipes... Like, why do they come all the way out? They can just go back, as far as I'm aware. Oh, that might actually free up space. This thing here I don't really need to worry about. Or where the flywheel comes up. Okay, we're gonna pipe straight back. Please, please work. So here, for how the flywheel is connecting to the fluid jets, we're gonna ignore 
So I think where it does that, we'll be just sort of going back. Ugh. It'll just be going back how it was. But now, maybe. Can I transition it to a wedge? A wedge would just make it easier. If it gives you more headroom, you know. Then can I get rid of that? Oh yeah, I think it's going to work. It is a bit weird how it finally connects at the front, but puts those pipes out of the way, pumps are out of the way, these pipes are all still connected. So what am I missing? I'm missing pumps for the hoses up there, I'm missing a battery, and pipe that goes from the flywheel back gosh darn it so somehow i've got to connect the flywheel down to this pipe and then all will be well with the power system at least i'm just thinking if i flip the pistons around the other way it might make it easier to pipe because all the pipes will be further down here uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. What if I go up like that? This is the power pipe. I might use a solid, solid pipe here. And then from there it goes straight up. Oh wow, it does actually clear everything. Okay, is that weird? It looks kind of weird. I'm just, I'm not sure how I feel about... I don't know how I feel about putting normal pipes there. At least this looks kind of like a structural thing. Yeah, I think that's good. So what's next, what's next, what's next? Battery. Oh, pumps, pumps and battery. Okay, pumps and battery. Uh, what's this? What's... Battery, battery, battery. Hide the battery in the floor. Fill in the gap there. Grab some pumps, except these won't... Oh, what if I use like a space up here where it's just kind of gross and nothing's really fitting? Yeah, like especially up here. What is this? What is this? I feel like I could make a soundboard of me just saying, what is this? So let's find a hole in, or somewhere where I can put a hole in the back. Fluid, water, it can't go there. No, no, no. It might... No, 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 no. I really think these pumps might as well just go up high. They actually weigh quite a lot. I didn't realize how much these weighed. 10 mass per pump. Putting them central and up the front somewhere is probably the best bet then. How about like that? How about... No, I changed my mind again. Okay, I'm going to delete this button. This tank, my desalinators, pump. Hey, hey now, you're, what if I use um, one of these spots? No, that's not really underwater though, is it? This is underwater. That's, that's underwater! Um, oh, hmm. Okay, how about here? Is 
So it's like right beside the piston. I think this is no. Okay. I need to get up into the deck. Up into the deck. So go up one normal pipe. Up a O. Uh what? What? Why on this side does it go straight into a wall? Huh? Can I just go straight into a wall? What is this witchcraft? Holy moly. Look at that. It's just like... It's a sign. It was meant to be this way. Okay. It does kind of make it really difficult to navigate back here. I'm sure I can clean this up though. I'm sure. I'm so sure. All these microcontrollers, I will do something with them. Something more useful than this. Get out of here. There are more there because like, I didn't really have anywhere else to put them at the time. That frees up a lot of space. What's this? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I've deleted that piece of wall like a million times. So I've got this spot in the back here, which is somewhat conveniently looking like it's placed right near the water watsima jig and happens to be three blocks high. Out. Okay. Uh, but can I repair this if I put it here? In, in, in. Is that in the middle? It's not, it's definitely not in the middle. Oh, is that why it's leaning over this way? Because all this crap is like offset. So I reckon I can spin this pump around. Like this. See, holes are in the same place. Also, what is this? Yeah, look at that. Saving space. Just by flipping pumps around. I deleted a bunch of stuff, didn't I? I'll put some blocks in there so it looks like it's connected to something. I'm going to put a welder down here. And a fire extinguisher. So if I ever have to just hop down here for firefighting, it's all ready to go. Do you think? No, nah, I don't like that idea. Seemed good. Seemed good that like minute or two ago. Now I don't like it. I don't think I can get up to here, you know, like. I think it's going to be permanently separated into a front and a rear section. Does it float? It's a lot heavier in the back because I took out the battery and the generator in the front. So there'll have to be some barrels chucked in here. Oh yeah, but you can stand in the front. That's nice. If you want to go down, you kind of have to do some funny hopping stuff. So perhaps I need a ramp or... This whole section here just needs to be lifted up so it's the same height as where the stairs are. But you can get around pretty easily, I reckon. This is, like, if there was a fire down here, it's open enough that you can see where you need to be spraying your hose and welding your welder. I think welding the pistons would be the hardest part. And, yeah, I'm not sure about this. This on both sides is... Just nothing. And then what is that? Just nothing again. 
And then what's this? More nothing. So what if I turn these into hatches? Oh, these stupid pipes. These goddamn stupid pipes. Yeah, hold on a minute. There's two pipes. Those are the water pipes, eh, from the pumps. So we go back one. Choo. Choo, 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 choo. And then I can put hatches in. Sliding hatch. Sliding hatch. Yes. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Wait. Uh, no, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. There you go. Now I've got an internal way. Even though I lost my black stripe. I'm just going to make my black stripe three blocks. <laughs> God damn it. I could put equipment in here actually. Actually. Do I want to? Should I? It will push the price up a little bit. Um, but it does also mean that there is now dedicated equipment for repair and firefighting below deck. I'll do that. It's okay. It's it's not a big, you know, you know, you know. Here, I think I am just going to fully enclose all that. But then I think I'll something like that, something like that. The thing is with this is that um, these rudders, these fins, they can be repaired from outside. So it's actually not that bad to just cover this up. I think there is like a section in here though. It's like three deep. Yeah. And no, it's two. I can hide stuff in there as well. I'm getting it. Oh, why don't I do that? Man. I have all these weird, like, like I just suddenly realized, like, why don't I just do that? See what I'm saying? Get rid of that. Get rid of those three. Plop that back in. Because I'm always going to be like, oh, maybe I could use a rope. How many can I get in here, actually? I'm going to put two empty ones. Not that. This one. One rope and two empty. That way if I steal any ropes, I've got a spot to put my stolen ropes in. I could, I could even just go like this. Hmm. These pivots, um, probably, how many is here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There is space that I can put pivots somewhere else. Like up here. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if I could like turn this bit into an enclosure-y looking thing though. Like, kind of curve it in a bit maybe. Yeah, like that. That way you know that this is a thing doing something and this is where you would weld if something goes wrong because otherwise everything over here is really solid. It's going to be really hard to get out of that hatch, isn't it, without a ladder? Or is it? It's it's like seven high, so you can probably jump out. Let's try. There's a little ladder. A lot of it's like crawling in weird gaps like this, but it's now very nice and smooth. That was the initial goal, to smooth that out. And then the, the rear section is just going to have to be its own access I might even move where you access that I've gone real like off off topic how do you say that I got real sidetracked I'm uh doing some painting doing some painting so I thought it would look cool if there was like a little a little nubby thing. I don't know what you call this. A little bumper thing. So now there's a little bumper thing. It'll look better on this side because of the lighting. Oh. 
Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe. A little bit of detail. A little bit of... What do you call it? A little bit of depth. But it will still fit in the build zone, I think. I'm pretty sure. Probably. Do, 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 do. And get some ropes. Oh no. The ladder. Yeah, you do need the ladder though. Huh. So when you fall in, you can't go backwards because the ladder's like right in your face. It's real hard to get around those corners. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. Crap. Okay, see ya. No hatch on the outside. If you want to get in here, you have to use those hatches on the sides. And I also don't like how you can get stuck in the little octagon on this hatch. So I kind of want to exchange it for this one. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. Ropes. I would prefer this one because at least it's I think you can still get stuck on that one anyway so yeah you can't just you have to go looking for it you have to go inside don't know why that door's black you have to go down one of these which is actually not that hard at all anymore and then you have to yeah I mean you can't there's not really anywhere to go down here but Wait, can you walk through this gap? Oh no! Oh dear! Oh no! A lot of crouching going on. And it's maybe a bit hard to get these. Maybe it would be better if you if they were white, if they were real obvious. I don't know if this light will turn on by the way, but no. Maybe if they were more obvious or if they had some paint blocks or something above them. Above the doors. I do not mind losing that hatch because originally that hatch was going to be for ropes and equipment and then it just became a hole in the floor that you could fall into. It doesn't look any different. You would never know the amount of work that's just gone into making this like repairable just by looking at it. I still need a fuel pump. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have any way to repair the back section. You know, I could move these fins. Wait, I should move these things. What am I doing? Why don't I just drop them down? Is it because they're kind of central there? Yeah, they're kind of close to the center map. If I drop them down, I gain back a lot of walking space. Ah, oh, man. Ha, ha, ha. See, if I put them down. Like that. It's back to the kind of original shape that they had where they stick out a lot more. But they stick it out a lot more because the wedge is now in a different place. See, the wedge can go back. I don't think there's anything interfering with that either. You do that, you do this. Grab one of those. Boop, 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 boop. Red. I mean, if that works, that opens up. A big chunk of this space. And then I can magically just walk all the way through. On that side anyway. On the other side it's a bit of a different story. Uh, let me try this. This might be a good solution. It might be a good. So I guess I need a way to like go down. I mean a ladder. A ladder won't work will it. Because you'll get up and suddenly smush yourself. It's going to have to be stairs or ramps. But I suppose this space here is this. Huh. I mean, even one bit of stair kind of looks neat. So I do it like this and then just put a small platform at the top, wall that off maybe. I'm really starting to lose my mind at the moment working on this. It is 
a whole lot cleaner than it used to be, though. I think maybe the stairs at the back is a good idea. We can move a lot of these pumps and things around. Move some of these pipes. Clean up more of these edges. So I think it's really good to look back at we started and what you've got now and compare them so the top boat is what i had at the start of this episode and the bottom is what i've got now so you can see at the front especially it's a whole lot smoother and i've ditched a lot of the components as well by transitioning from steam electric to just direct steam drive the piping looks like it's got a bit worse on the fluid jets at the back but like I don't know, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good transition. And you can see that there's now walkways, like very defined walkways on the new version. By doing a bit of painting like this as well, to paint where the floor surfaces are, it'll make it a lot easier to navigate and so much easier to repair. I think I just need to work on this a little bit off camera to get the rear section finished up. No, it's coming along pretty good, I think. I'm happy with how it's going. But that's all I've got today, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.